Welcome back to Limbus Company Daily Mirror Dungeon. After that little uh, strange occurrence yesterday, um, back to normal, rolling with the randomizer as per usual. Also, uh, did want to bring out today, I'm actually going to be streaming as soon as this video is posted. From now on, streams are going to be Saturday and Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Because, you know, sometimes I'll just miss the Saturdays, so it's nice to have a second day that I'm also streaming. You feel free to join for that, but enough of that. Let's roll the randomizer, see normal settings, see what this team's gonna be. Okay. Okay, Psycho Man. This one, this this one's a funny one. I've done this one before. You can only use defensive skills with Sinfinities of Ego. You've used this fight. So what that means is basically, I can't use any sloth skills until I've used at least one sloth Ego. That specific fight. Very interesting one, that's for sure. It's a funny one too. Um. Let's see, Yi Song, Warp Yi Song, Warp Dawn, Tremor stuff, our only Tremor, actually you two are both Tremor, so we have got a little bit of Tremor potentially, it's mainly you, Ma or mainly you, because you're not a great Tremor, that's fine, um, yeah, we've got decent, decent charge people, decent charge rupture stuff with like these two going on, and a little rupture from you two, it is very funny how you managed to get only your default ego, alright, well, give me a minute to build the team, and then we'll get into it. All right, the team's now been built. Let's get into it. See just how it goes. Got some decent things there and there. Like, you know, the fact that Warped On managed to get Teleport is nice, especially because this is a run where we're going to need a lot of Egos. Um, started with Tremor stuff, so we're starting... Oh, right. So we're starting with Nixie Divergence and Blood, Sweat, and Tears, because, you know, that's good. Potentially get some Tremor going, thanks to you, you two, I guess. I don't know, I don't really have high hopes for that. Uh, let's just get into it. Need to set the team order up. I've still got the actual randomizer open over here, even though I removed the screens. The order is like this, 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 this. Alright, let's go. Hopefully it'll work. <clears throat> let's see. I need to look through the egos we have, because I didn't look through to see, do we have something of every sin affinity? That's the first question. <laughs> It looks like we do, I believe. Yeah, okay. That's good. Some stuff we don't have a lot of options for, of course. Like, for Wrath, our only option would be 4th Match Flame, or, like, 4th Match Flame. Lust, we've got quite a few options. Sloth, we've got one of your base egos. Gluttony, we've got Lantern or Holiday. For Gloom, we've got ADD or Rhyme Shank. For Pride, we just have what is cast. And, and we we just have Teleport, it seems like. Alright. Well, starting off, what's something we have a lot of? We do have a lot of... What's a, we can actually use, like, a Lust Ego this turn. That's something. I might start out like that, then. Thunder Sancho, relatively cheap. We can afford it. And we do something like this, so we get at least one other attack. We're getting more Lust this turn. So now we've unlocked Lust for basically the rest of the fight, right? That's how this works. Next fight, of course, we'll have to re-unlock Lust again, that sort of thing. One to be really funny, I could, like, set up some sort of funny display. Hmm. It's actually a funny idea. I might, I might do that. I might really commit to the bit. Okay, nice, nice counter. You can use counters no matter what, that's also the thing. But, you know, let me set up something here real quick. Alright, so I've taken a quick moment to set up, like, a funny little bar on the side here. You can you can see it over here, um, and this will just indicate what sin affinities we have active at the time. So right now, we've only got Lust. This is, I made this in, like, a minute, uh, so it's kind of, oh, it's very simplistic, but it's, well, it's simple enough, right? As far as what else we're going to do this turn, they're not, not going for a lot of actually attacks. I think we're fine with this. We might just stick with Lust for now. Don't feel the need to use any other Egos yet, right? I do am aware the box on the side does block the passives, like, a little bit, but, like, I don't think it matters too much. It's also, like, it looks a little bit off. So I might try... Making it a little smaller. Right. And that'll, that's good enough. Um, but yeah. This turn, once again, we just have Lust. Might do something else here, though. We're losing some sanity. We've got a fair bit of sloth. 
might suddenly one day this turn then. Then we can do something like that, right? Yeah, that'll work. So now you can see we've got both Sloth and Lust enabled. Yeah, that should work, should work well, right? I also know it is a little strange that I'm, I have it in like kind of inverse order, like Wrath at the bottom and Envy at the top instead of vice versa, but uh, just gotta live with it, right? I've, I've, I've made the decision. We shouldn't need to use any other Egos this fight, I don't think. We've got enough of those two Sin Affinities to probably kill these guys eventually, at least. And they're mostly dead anyways, yeah. I'm not too concerned. We've also got, like, some counters and stuff occasionally. And it's nice when you go for counters and stuff, because then we do get more Sin Affinities of... More resource Sin Affinities that we don't have as much of, right? Yeah, give them all of this. You get countered and staggered, that's fine. You stagger this guy, so that's good. Killing this guy. Luckily, this is the only normal play we have to do this floor, right? Because I think we just get two events in a shop. Simple enough. Counter, get some Wrath Resources thanks to that. Always solid. You're taking a fair bit of damage, actually. Might be nice to actually take a fair bit of damage. Yeah, we don't have anything that heals HP. We could actually try getting Heath to, like, work properly, right? Nothing that happens too frequently, but it would work. Nice, more Sandy for Yoshi. These guys are still alive, to a degree. Um, shouldn't last too much longer, though, right? I don't have a lot of attacks we're going to actually get to go for this turn, but it should be enough, I think. Oops, there we go. If I, wanted to, if I was being smart, I would have just gone for another attack already. Or another ego already, just unlock it. Okay, we kill that guy with the counter, though. And so there's just one enemy left. Oh, no, the one enemy died. I thought it was still alive. I thought it had, like, a decent bit of HP left or something. I was wrong. Nice. Yeah, now get rid of the sloth, get rid of the lust. Because we no longer have them. And we'll have to rebuild that next fight. Okay. This works pretty well. Ooh, if we can pass. Actually, I think we get it even when we fail, right? No, we don't. I'm thinking of... I think I'm thinking of the bird. Giving you the, the, the one. No matter what you do. That's fine. Sample it. Get me one of these samples. So we can get some, you know, gluttony pierce synergy things going on here. Definitely benefits going for the gluttony egos a little bit, potentially. Zip a lighter, that also just kind of makes us in a really good spot. Get, you know, skill 3 might as well. Don't want the healing stuff, though. The healing stuff is lame if we want to try being funny with uh, Heathcliff, right? I'll just grab whatever, honestly. Not like a particular theme this run, as far as that stuff goes. But yeah, le Zip a lighter will make this run a lot easier, because we're just going to build up a lot of resources. I'll still try minimizing how many resources we spend though for like sanity and stuff. Gluttony looks like a really solid start. Yeah, look at this. One ego and we, almost everyone is going for the attacks. Okay, I'll turn on Gluttony then. Yeah, grab Ida in the sack and swing around. It's been a little bit since I've used Holiday, I think. I think the only times I actually use Holiday um, are the randomizer runs, I think. Because otherwise, it is always a body sack on because it's better. You know, that's how it goes. We can go for a lot of stuff this turn, too. We're a lot, very long ride. That's a bit of an issue. Let's see. If we just stick to Gluttony, this is what our turn looks like. Not great. I'd really like to, if I could go for Gloom at Ego, that would be nice here, but. Neither Rhyme Shake nor ADD is ready. We need Pride, I guess. I don't think we've got any Pride defenses on this team. Yeah, no. You probably have Pride Skull too, but we can't use that yet. Hmm. What are we feeling then? Do we want to turn on Sloth? Well, might as well, right? We don't have too much Sloth we can do this turn, but it'll be nice having it on, I think. So yeah, we'll pull out the Crow's Eye View. And see how that goes. It'll get you some sanity. You'll lose some sanity, but it's a net positive anyways. You're up to 30 now, so that's good. I don't mean what you think the ideal is. Gladly. It's the ideal. Hmm. 
Are you taking some damage? That's fine. He's, he can handle it. Um, we've staggered quite a fair bit of them. Yeah, look at how much... Yeah. It would be nice if we could actually use those, huh? Well, that's our, this is our turn. Uh, not looking exactly, you know, the most solid if we just stick to the stuff we have unlocked. You've been staggered. Yeah, of course you have. If we have a better way to get gloom egos going, because we've got we've got zip layers, so we're always gonna have a lot of gloom resources. Okay, you dodge these, and you partially dodge. You actually need some sanity. That's all right. Yeah, if we had a way to get gloom re egos going a little better, that would be a huge help for us. I may just pull a teleport this turn though. Yeah. It looks pretty beneficial. Because then we can do like that, right? We've turned on Envy, so now we've got... We can turn any stuff, right? Yeah, okay. So now we've got all three of those active. It should work well. I had hoped. It's still... Dawn will spend some, you know, of her sanity. Her well earned sanity. Okay. You get staggered. You just die? He's at 2 HP. Okay. We need to get some healing stuff. No more funny she heat cook shenanigans. We direly need to get some healing, I think. Oh. We're kind of... We're, I'm kind of going for the defensive stuff a lot more than I probably should be when we don't have good sanity, right? That's kind of like the big issue when we get down to it, isn't it? Defensive skills like evades and stuff are not going to work until we've got decent sanity. Okay, at least. Um... You should survive, though. We should be able to get enough random attacks off. Right, like, uh... Like that, okay. Looks good. Dimensional Slip might just straight up kill. I should, yeah. Nice. Flashing Strike should do pretty decent damage. You're not under half HP, so it's not a mass attack yet. But you do some self-damage with your skill 3, of course. And we kill that guy. He's at 2 HP. We don't quite kill that guy, that's fine. I'm just gonna finish you off this, because might as well. Simple enough, instead of going through everyone and just seeing what we can and can't do. There we go, it's all in the fight. There go all of our uh, sin infinities, though. That's okay. We can live without them, I'm sure. Uh, what do we want here? Money path is good. None of these really help us much at all. Sure, I'll take thorny path. Why not? Right. It is undeniably something. More than you can say about some of gifts, right? It'll take top path. Looks good. I pressed the. Oh, I missed the button. I thought I pressed the button, but I think I just incredible. I missed it incredibly. Okay, from now on, we need to be careful with Gregor though, because he's low HP. What do you guys do we have for healing? This is SP. Um, but actual HP healing. Um, we got lantern. That's right. Almost forgot about lantern for a second. That's solid. Solid start. I'm also going for lust. Well, any lust seems like a solid combination, so we'll do that. Yeah. Everyone can attack if we do that. A gurgle heal based on 60% of damage dealt, which is going to be a fair bit. Yeah, definitely. So that's good. I don't use Gregor Lantern a lot, but, uh, you know, that's some healing. Yeah. I like that. Not insane, but that's just because the ego doesn't do an insane amount of damage, right? If it was enemies that were, like, weak to pierce or weak to gluttony, something like that would be doing a lot better. Nice. Might also just both lantern again, even though we don't necessarily need it, but that's just because, uh, safety, right? Get him HP when we can. We'll also turn on Sloth here. This seems to be, like, the core of our team. Bloom is also good, but, like, 
Stuff like Wrath, Pride, we've got some of, but not enough to really warrant. Envy, we don't have the most of. We've got some of it right. Envy, we've got a couple like skill 3, skill 2, skill three. similar with Wrath, I think. Those are ones that I think we mostly have stronger stuff that's the less common, right? So maybe those individuals you go for when we're trying to get bigger like kills off. Yeah. How do you take so much damage? I wasn't even paying. Did Gregor get one sided or something? Hmm? I just he's taking like a lot of damage. Oh well, that's fine. He had some staggered people, which is why he healed so much there, which is very nice to see. And yeah, we should just be able to kill everyone. Just like this. Seems good. There we go. Simple enough. Now we get an we get an event into a Pegatule fight, into either an event or a rest stop. What do we want to upgrade, if anything, right? I don't know. Okay, we'll take this. Don't know why I'm using Hukong Lu for that. I just saw it was very high and I just clicked on it, you know. Monkey see, monkey do, that sort of thing. We're going for the Pegatule though, but like, what's he, what, what would we upgrade? That's a good question. What is there to upgrade? I mean, Blood, Sweat, and Tear is solid for more damage to staggered enemies. Eh. I don't know, I'll probably stop at that rest stop anyways. Out of, like, a curiosity, if nothing else. Okay, your HP is doing much better, but you could still... I don't know, that's... You know, your, your HP is doing much better. You could still probably benefit from a Lantern, though. You could do it on this guy, and that'll go fairly well. Turn on Gluttony that way. Hmm. Might be a Wrath to turn on... You know what? Why not? Let's do it like this. See how that goes. I like the idea. Sword Match Flame should do really well here. Slay should do really well here. Flying Sword should do decently well here. Actually, we need someone to redirect to you. Okay, you do that, then. Mm, that doesn't work. Let's see. Who do we find getting hit? I don't really want Gregor getting hit too much, but you can handle it, right? Like, if you get hit by... Mm, it's not nice, though. Not very enjoyable. I think it has to be, like, what through, though, right? That's okay, then. Roll with that. Should be good. We're lanterning not for the gluttony as much as we're lanterning for the sake of actually getting more healing on Gregor, and especially because the Gloom guys are fairly weak to this. Yeah, nice. Just get him up nice and high so we don't need to worry about him for a decent bit longer. Yeah, we should be- we don't need the lantern anymore. We should be set. I don't know what you think the ideal is, but yeah, fourth match lane is going to be really funny because it is a, a three target wrath attacks, so that's slash attack. Let any guys are weak to both Wrath and Slash, it's gonna do a lot. So that'll be fun. Nice, and we got heads. That's super lucky. Yeah, cut through these guys. Like butter. Like a hot knife through butter. Like a hot katana through plants. Yeah. That easy. You get one sided a little bit. That was I mean, we knew about that. Got both heads, so that's a little rude, but that's fine. Slay kills. Rip doesn't kill, but that's fine. You can finish these guys off. It's a effective benefit. These you guys actually can't do anything. That's fine. Flash that. Flash that. And then we'll just defend a little bit. Dimensional slit kills. Rev up should do decent. Not like insane, but it's something. And strike down wins the clash, and that's really all it does. But that's still something, right? It gets a stagger too. That's good. Oh yeah, you can flying sword someone. Sure. Energy cycle someone. Sure. TN someone. Sure. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. You can rip someone. All right. This'll work. Okay. 
Still one of the least, and these guys shouldn't last too much longer, right? Even if we can't do, like, anything this turn. That's alright, we can live with that, I think. We don't need to do anything this turn. Actually, we should probably kill you and then just dodge you for the bit. Yeah, that'll work. Kill the guy while he's staggered, just because we can. And then dodge you so you don't- Oh, we actually don't dodge because you had a high roll. Um, I guess I should have seen that coming. Okay, that's fine. You die this turn, though. We've got, no we've got enough attacks going for you that it should be pretty safe to say that you die. And rip. There we go. Yeah, now to the rest stop, I think. I think that's what I agreed upon, and it should work well. Right. Mm. Let's see. Can't really upgrade anything beyond Blood and Sweat and Tears. That's kind of the best thing for us. We'll upgrade Green Spirit a little bit, I suppose, for more Tremor potential. Nixie Divergence doesn't help us. Barb Snare doesn't help us that much. Thorny Path also isn't going to help us very much. It's a loss of Resonance to the Absolute Resonance, so that's actually something we could trigger. On to Ebony Queen's Apple, who will be a simple fight. We're definitely going to want to prioritize going for like Wrath and Pride if we want to really kill her. We you can't wrath here. We need pride resources to use either of wrath egos. Yep, the grand welcome would be very good for us, that's for sure. We can go for gluttony at least. You don't resist gluttony, yeah. Something you might expect, but no. No gluttony resistance. Fine. Of course. Uh, you can go for, yeah, you go for the, the brute, why not? Sloth, dude? Do we trigger Sloth? Probably. Yeah, I think so. I'll check out. Redirect that, and that should be pretty good. So we get Sloth and Gladney. Earthview gives everyone haste next turn. Not that it matters too much, but because the Ebony Queen does bind us all every turn for the first two turns, uh, I guess it'll counteract that a little bit. I don't know. Not really saying that needs to be counteracted, but it's I guess it's something. All right. Unfortunately, that holiday goes last here, but that's fine. We break the fruit either way. It's weak to blunt, and guess what's blunt? Shoving the entirety of the Ebony Queen's apple into a sack and just swinging her around, banging her onto the ground. There goes the fruit. Good stuff. We probably want to pull something else out this turn. We can't pull out Wrath because we lack the pride resources. We also can't pull out pride because we, pull, because we lack the pride resources. We could go for a gloom here. Not a bad idea. You know, hit that, like, hit that root spike with that. But then we can Dimensional Rift, which is also very strong. Otherwise, we could pull out, like, the Luster thing if we wanted to. I don't think we need to, though. We can just attack the roots a bunch, some stuff, and then dodge with these two. Dodge, counter, that sort of thing. Could work well. Dimensional Rift, leap. Oh, did I redirect with Rev Up? I did, okay. That works too. Actually, Dimensional Rift is probably funnier. Do you have enough charge? You don't. Okay, that's fine. It's because Ego previous turn. He doesn't have enough charge to get the Rupture going. Not that we really need the Rupture to go, though. Kind of think that doesn't make that big a difference. Because we got Blood, Sweat, and Tears, plus, plus, we're doing a lot of extra damage. Especially with our Sloth attacks, we're not going for any Sloth attacks this turn. Anyways, Rhyming time. Minor amount of sinking. Which we could then pair into the Lust Resonance to trigger the Thorny Path. Don't think it's necessary, but we could do it. You've got 10 HP left. Uh, Dry Earth must be upturned. Yeah. Not really that big of a problem. We can, we'll upturn it if you so desire. Uh, I can't do that, we can do that. Uh, I forgot to turn on Bloom there, but yeah. What's the purpose of using this thing if I'm not even going to remember it, SMH? That's fine. 
And there we go. Floor two cleared. We press on. Oh, uh, Homeward is nice for healing. I think I take, take Thunder Branch, though, for the Rupture Synergy going on. You got both Tier 3 Rupture Gifts already. That's certainly something. Really, if we get Talisman Bundle, we could get the Fusion Gift if we so desired. Funny idea. Um, it doesn't do anything for us because we don't have enough Rupture people on our team. Only three of our teammates are Rupture, technically. Um... Actually, it is four, right? Because you do have Rupture. Yeah, it's, it's these four technically have Rupture, so we actually almost can get the Rupture Fusion Gift. It's just because you don't have it, your Bleed, and you don't have your Poise. Oh, uh, Envy? Yeah, let's go for Envy. Not exactly one we go for too often. We can't do much else this turn if we do that. Uh, that's fine. We'll just wait on these three. We can just go for the Envy attacks, yeah. Build up some Envy. We'll spend some Envy. We'll build up some Envy in the process. Envy and Pride are still huge issues. But the thing is, because we're going for Envy here, because you're under half HP, that's the mass deck. Because we're going for Envy here, we will build up more Envy when we spend this turn, I believe. Because Telepole is, what, two Envy, I think? Because it's two Envy, two Gloom, one Wrath for Telepole. So we've already, like, made more Envy this turn than we spent, right? Which is good. Kind of the goal. This fight might, this might, maybe this should be like an envy build up type fight. I don't know. It, it, I think we're pulling out the gluttony here, though. Turn those on because I forgot. But yeah, pull out the gluttony and then we can attack almost everyone. So it'll work. You have to sack this guy. It hopefully kills even with tails. He was at like, what, 40 HP or something? This should kill them. No, there was like 50 HP. Never mind then. Okay, Bro didn't get the kill on the staggered guy though, so that's still fine. Nice dodging. We can go for A Envy attack this turn. Yeah, we'll commit. I use the Telepole. We might as well get the fruits of our labor. We can dodge and some stuff. Hollow Dimension is still such a funny name for a evade. Yes, Hollow Dimension. Alright then. You think he thinks he's so cool, and he is. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the envy attacks here because once, I, like I said before, I'm gonna try and see how much envy we can build up with this, right? Since we don't have a lot of that, and that should work for like envy resources for a little bit, right? Don't have any other envies this turn. So we just do this. We probably didn't need to actually use the defenses and stuff because, uh, obviously would not survive those first three gluttony attacks, much less surviving even one, but better safe than sorry, right? Things happen sometimes. Sometimes the turn order happens in weird ways that you don't, can't quite expect. Being at, you know, skill three. Why not? Probably cranes is also probably a really good idea. We might sell something for that. Yeah, uh... Get rid of Barb's Snare. It's, it's, it's not great. Eh, let's get rid of Thorny Path on. So we upgraded it? Sure. It's not good. The Coffee and Cranes. There we go. That'll be more resources when we use Losty uh, skills. So now it's a little bit better of an idea to go for Lost than it was before. Which already, like, Lost wasn't, like, a bad choice. Don't get me wrong. Get a fair bit of Lost. This is probably, this is just a really funny team to be going for the challenge anyways, because, like, it's not like once in Infinity significantly better than the rest, right? This feeling like it might be a Gloom kind of turn. I'm going for ADD, though, yeah. That's probably slightly better. Go for this. I'm going for this one because it spends cost the least Envy, right? Because this is 3 Envy. This is 3 Envy. And then the, we don't have too much of it, right? Probably want to just... I'm, yeah, I think I'm just going to hold out Force for the Flames just so we can get that rolling. Because then we'll get, you know, a bunch of resources this turn, thanks to Traitor and Coffee and Cranes. So we've got Gloom and Lust here. There we go. Seems good. It means you do spend... No, the Corroded AD is the one that spends his HP. 
normal AD you give him charge based on how much of each he's missing, because he's missing a half, he gains, what, five charge, I think? So that's something. He also heals a little bit, because... Do you think that would heal him? Oh, we got full body pack, that's right. I completely forgot we just got full body pack, that's alright. He'll heal up then. It happens. I'm not that bothered anymore, I don't think. I've accepted that, you know, we, we got the map stock attack off of once. That's more than she hits the fuse she gets off. I'm being honest. Hmm. Are you feeling lantern? Get that rolling too? Yeah, let's go. Lantern is very safe since it's only. It's. Three gluttony, or it's four gluttony, one sloth, I think, right? That's how it is. Cause I think it's exactly one gluttony more than like a domain, which is three gluttony, one sloth. That's how I remembered at least. I wonder if Opti 5, or I wonder if Thread Spin 5 will reduce the cost of any egos. Because that would be really funny, but some ego could definitely benefit from it. I mean, every ego could benefit from being cheaper. Some stuff, especially, like, you know, um,. Garden of Thorns is a little too pricey for what it is most of the time. Oh, that was a little bit of a risky clash, but Ryoshi pulled through. Nice. We could, you know, use this skill through here, but I... and we'll use it, yeah. I was gonna say, but there's not really a need to, because we get a bigger gluttony resonance, but I mean, it's a skill three, right? Oh, that is a no trespassing on Cragger. That sure is a no trespassing on Cragger. I need to be more careful about that. I really do. Luckily, it got all tails, so it didn't do that much to us, but it's very scary to see a no trespass, especially against the enemy was like negative 6 SP, right? It was very likely that it got at least a couple heads in there. We got lucky that it didn't. Okay, and then we dodged this no trespassing, because, you know, Dawn does not care about this guy. Got him. There they should all die this turn, I think. We've got enough random attacks going for him that it should finish the job off. Dimensional Rift overkill on this guy. Half of his deck is Dimensional Rifts, though. Keep that in mind. Partially why Gloom is not is, is a pretty solid idea a lot of the time. It means Yi Song is going to be doing a lot. He's not going to be doing a lot of rupture, though, that's for sure. Because he just doesn't have the charge most of the time. Just fragment. Okay, so yeah, Gluttony's even better now, too. Let's see. Looking through what we've got, Gluttony's pretty good because of Disc Fragment, Sticky Muck. Lust's pretty good because of Coffee and Cranes. Gloom's pretty good because of, uh... Well, we got a lot of Gloom resources and just because of Yi Song in general. Where's that boss? Okay, that's Crab. Oh, Crab, so Crab. Shouldn't be too bad. It is funny, we rolled two of the people with Vav Egos, but neither of them actually rolled their Vav Egos. So sad. Okay, now that Gluttony is really good for us, definitely something to consider going for a little more frequently. We'll start off like that then. Get the Lust going, because then we trigger Coffee and Cranes. And get the Gluttony going, because Holiday... It doesn't pay for itself, does it? Holiday's like, what, six resources, is it? I don't remember. I don't use- I don't even remember its cost by the top of my head. Like, it's more pricey than the average day, and those are like 6, 7, because it is a 2-target, right? So I guess that makes enough sense. Or is it a 3-target? I don't remember. Looks like a 2-target, though, yeah. Yeah. Spin this guy around, get some resources back. So now, like, half phase for itself, thanks to this fragment. So that's cool. A bunch of random stats is the gluttony resonance too. Because that's its gimmick for some reason. It's just a suddenly one day but weirder. It's uh oh it's five resources. Three gluttony, two envy. Okay. But I don't want to use too much of its envy, but that's fine. You can pull this out and maybe you don't need to ego this turn. Okay, seems good. Nice. There's something kind of randomish I felt the I felt the need to talk about, but uh, 
I'm definitely, like, thinking, like, after, you know, because, like, yesterday, the funny, I briefly mentioned this yesterday's video at the start of this video, but I didn't talk about it in depth. Uh, the Garden of Band being a proposed thing, because that day was planned for a while by me. I recorded it, you know, the day before it posted, of course, but, uh, I, I knew my plan for a while. Um, genuinely, I was so caught off guard by how bad it was. Like, like, I knew, I didn't think it was going to be good, of course, like, I'm, I'm not delusional, um, but... I thought there'd be a game. There was not a game there. And I'm still so, like, perplexed by that. I don't know. But moving on to the more so we're talking about, might, might do some other, like, variety of type stuff in Daily Mirror in the future, honestly. It might be fun to do, right? Like, not to level the Garden of Bim and stuff that's actually still relevant. Like, stuff like, uh, an idea I've had for a while, like, maybe, like, the Slay the Spire mod for, like, Lob Corp or Faruna, stuff like that, right? Yeah, that's still very Mirror dungeon -y, right? Just playing, like, roguelike games instead of Project Moon mods, right? Because that, that fits for some Daily Mirror Dungeon stuff. I don't think it's necessary right now, of course, because, like, we're in the middle of a new season, but, like, I might start doing something like that. Could be cool. We'll see. I'm curious to see how your guys' thoughts on that idea, though. Okay, you do this, you do manage this, nice. We get the NDA from that. And we get to fight some crabs now. Okay, I mean, crabs are weak to gloom, so we're probably gonna want the gloom immediately. What else are they weak to? Um, let's see. They're also weak to sloth for certain parts. Not the shield. Um, well, gloom, obviously, so we're gonna go for that here. The dimensional rift, just this guy, he's weak to it, right? So that'll be solid. Do we ADD it or do we rhyme shake? Probably rhyme shake. Cause you probably want to lantern, get that going. Start off with the gloom and gluttony for this. And lust too probably. Something like this, then everyone can go for their attack first turn. That'll work. And just keep on attacking the shell a bunch this turn. I just I usually just ignore the minions for the most part. They're not like that big of a threat. Yeah, immediately break the shell, pretty solid. A little bit of damage, right? Lantern, get some healing, I guess. You you lost a little bit of HP because you took some, like the no trash passing that other fight. Oh, uh, that'll help a bit, I guess. Yeah, we haven't turned. Do you? We haven't used Pride once this run because of the fact pride, our only Pride ego is what is cast, which really is something, isn't it? Something funny, that's for sure. We should be fine with that Pride, though. We'll have to see what the final boss ends up being. Pride, Pride won't be too important, though. If we get like Fairy Gentleman, he's weak to Pride, but Fairy Gentleman also is like such a pushover that I don't think we need to worry about using the best of Sin Affinity, right? That makes sense. I'd say at least. Um. Okay, you got Stagger and you got six Pierce for Judy, so maybe we should have redirected some of the little guys. Eh. I'm sure it's fine. What's well, the worst that can happen? Like, you're attacking a bunch of your own allies this turn. I'll probably just go all out on you. Being honest. It's good enough. Uh, you need to Ego if you want to actually do something. We'll pull that Yasin Yada then, I guess. Trigger that Cocky and Cranes. Assuming we even need to go that far, honestly. you probably just die to the skill 3 from Yusong, if I had to guess. Not quite, but almost there. Yeah, 24 HP. Okay, there we go. Simple enough. Didn't need to worry about the Yasin Yada then. It's fine. Still wanted to, though. We've, we've got... We're fine on resources at this point, right? Mm, I mean, we take a contract, yeah. Shh. Only a little bit of thinking was needed for that. Oh, bottom path. Just stick to bottom path the entire way through. Looks good. We'll do three normal fights, we get two events, and then we'll get to the finale, you know, of this run, of this psychomint run. Okay, pirates. Simple enough. 
Looking like it's a good turn for this. Is it absolute resonance or is it? Yeah, it is gluttony absolute resonance. Okay. Okay, we'll pull this out then. I think some of those flashes weren't very, you know, great chances. Like, you know, the Rodeon skill one, believe it or not. A base ID skill one isn't very good for the clash. Who could have thought? But this will work out well enough, right? Sanger to Sancho, just being super solid in general, just because we get the Coffee and Cranes benefit. Coffee and... The, using Sanger to Sancho this turn is a net positive for resources game, which is really funny to think about, because by using it, we gained five additional resources. We gained Wrath, Sloth, Gluttony, or no, Wrath, Sloth, Gloom, uh, Pride, and Envy, because they're those sins we weren't using this turn, I think, Docking Cranes. So it was very solid. And Holiday also, you know, almost paid for itself by just giving us a bunch of random stuff, thanks to Disc Fragment. Kind of tempting, actually. Um, do something like this. Because then we'll turn on Gloom this turn. We're using this when we don't need to. Uh, we can actually just defend. Yeah, because we're still going for Lust here. That'll work then. Because Dimensional Rift, how could you say no to a nice good old Dimensional Rift here and there? I think these guys are the ones that are weak to Blunt, so you know, it's not super effective. It still almost killed that guy. Feels though there's another attack going for him. Might kill? I don't know, actually. Oh, ADD. Yeah, that works then. <laughs> that certainly works. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. You guys are alive. Not for long, though. I think mean, it's one of the few times I actually I don't think I've made a single mistake with the pre-script. You know, I tend to fail them a lot of the times in just super minor ways, like going through a fight completely forgetting about it. But I've kind of been on top of it today, which is good. I think the, the meter helps, I think, as strange as it is. It gives me something for my mind to do. Even if I forget about it sometimes, when I do forget to fill out the meter, it's because uh, I'm too focused on actually doing the challenge. Uh, sure. We'll take the compass. We'll lose SP for it, but that's fine. We'll build it back without too much of a hassle. And we'll keep on going. Here's fight. Could be fine. Could be something scary like the quad people or whatever, but no, it isn't. It's cool. Okay. I think we're going to go for a pretty standard opener here. The Gluttony Lust opener. Because it's standard because it's good, though. That's the thing. Sometimes that's all it need. You need. Sanger to Sancho, give us a bunch of resources and holiday just because it'll enable gluttony and it's on someone who doesn't have any gluttony egos, so it works out pretty well for that sake. And because it's a fairly cheap gluttony ego, I think most of our egos are for gluttony are fairly cheap, right? <laughs> I think like, cause there's only a single, like, key gluttony in the game, isn't there? They've, I think Avaz and Corrosion, Hong is the only gluttony he. All the other gluttonies are, like, Zayn and Path, right? Oh, no, there's also Lantern and Sinclair. That's right. I always forget about that one. Yeah, gluttony just... I feel like most gluttony egos in the game are just... Zayn, though, because we've got, like, three gluttony Zayns. We've got... Holiday, we got Legger Domain. It's funny how two of the three Zayans that aren't base are Gluttony, and we also have Sinclair's Branch of Knowledge. Yeah, I might want to ego someone here. Yeah. We'll get the Gluttony, go or we'll get the Gloom going this turn, I think. A solid, a solid turn to uh, follow up, I think. I'm not too. I'd, I'd ego with uh, Ryoshu, but I'm not really worried about her losing the clash. It's not going to do a lot of damage, even if she does. Grind this guy. Nice. Good stuff. Took a second there after he killed for the game's a process what was going on. It happens sometimes with funny skill threes. I think it's because it's like, trying to play out the rest of the skill threes animation, but with no targets, so it's taking a second. I don't know for sure, though. I don't. 
I feel like it happens with like certain skill threes a lot. The ones that have like a lot of effects, it feels like. Nice, sealed away forever into the in, warped into the place between dimensions or whatever. And yeah, we should be able to get some dimensional rift kills here. I think both, the, yeah, both these will just straight up kill. Yeah, I'm sending more people, you know, to other dimensions with the funny skill three. Unfortunately, they still have the corpse. Does it, does it remove the corpse if you actually do it while you've got charge? Is that it? It might be. I don't remember because I know Soda Ryoshu on kill gets rid of corpses, and I want to say that he does that. Warp Yi Song skill 3 does too, but it might only be when you have charge, right? Okay, yeah, gotta turn these off. Are we going for the standard opener again? I think so, yeah. It's looking like another standard opener. It's just working too well for this team, right? Like the Lust Gluttony immediately. This is the last normal fight of the run, so... That's good. Almost over. Only one more fight we're going to have to go for the standard opener once again. We'll probably not do the standard opener, though. We might just, like, I might just try and get as many Sin Affinities immediately as possible for the boss. And then just do, like, a normal fight, right? Would be funny. How does it line up? Some people are, like, obvious. Like, of course, like, our only pride is Rodion, so she's going to go for the pride. Yi Song only has Sloth, so he's going to go for the Sloth. We can just fill out the blank from there, right? Or only Envy is Dawn. I'm sure it worked. Do we need Gloom here? Uh, I'll go for it. Might as well, right? They're struggling, actually. Might do that then instead. Your ADDD instead. Uh, sure. That'll work. Dimensional Rift will get some kills. Once again, Gloom's super good because of how many Dimensional Rifts the song has. It's a solid and a strong enough skill 3, right? It's doing wonders for us. Rodion got staggered. What a shocker. He's just here to be our one source of pride, right? The only way we can actually unlock pride. And that's the most important thing she's got for us. And also the fact that, like, I didn't actually build this team. It was randomly generated, so... I couldn't... I, it, I was forced to take her, right? That's their other purpose. But I don't have all, like, strong IDs. I say that, like, I don't have, like, a bunch of mid-IDs in this team, right? You know what? We love the mid-IDs, so that's the thing. They're very wholesome. And there we go. There we go. Alright, only one more fight to go. After these messages, of course. Um, messages, I mean, event into shop and the rest stop. Um, no dice. Alright, that's unfortunate. I'll just, uh, do that. Lithograph, sure. Should have looked at who the boss was, probably. That would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? Dawn is funny. You know what I'm looking for, though. It would, you know it would be really funny. No dice. Alright, that's fine. I don't care that much. I was going to see if I get you song another skill 3 for the bit. No luck, though. We'll take Thunder Branch. Pierce and Gloom. Very good for Yi Song skill threes, then. Yeah, it's either Fox, Centipede, or KQE. Centipede, I feel like I've been getting Centipede a lot recently, but like, when don't you get Centipede a lot, right? You're gonna Slinger to Sancho. You're gonna ADD. Actually, we'll have you, Holiday, and you ADD. Right? That'll look good. And once again, standard opener, but we're also doing the turn 2 gloom opener at the same time. A little bit of pizzazz. Uh, Karudu, though. Just so you hit both. 
it helps. Even if it's pretty a pretty minor difference. It just means you got AADD on both parts, right? Get some rupture going with Yisong, potentially. Right? And if nothing else, Spark Discharge will... It'll get Yisong to build up charge faster. No, he spends his charge very fast because of how many skill 3s he goes for. Don't get me wrong, but... uh. He does get- he will get some charge from this, so, so that's solid. And he also maintains Rupture Count, very solid. Don't think the Rupture Count will last very long, unfortunately. But like, maybe if we only go for Gloom attacks on the body, then we could manage, right? Was this going for the head? Wait, did I target the head with this? That feels like a stupid idea. The head flashed for a second there, I might have been lying though. I can't tell it's not showing the body part. I think that means it hit the body though. Yeah, it did. Okay, that's good then. Yeah, body got 20 to rupture, but only one count. We can change that by going for a lot of gloom stuff though, right? Like, how are you, how are you doing on the spark discharge? So, like, see, body, 26 rupture, 10 spark discharge. Okay, we'll reset it with this too. This here. ADD that. And also Rhyme Shank that for good luck. And then you're just gonna like force for the flames this, right? Just out of out of just out of kinda nowhere for the bit, right? That'll work. Yeah, here we go. ADD, get 15 more spark discharge going, maintain the number, build up the rupture count, thanks to standard duty battery. Build up the rupture potency thing, standard duty battery. Build keep the rupture count. Um, status quo going thanks to ADD's Spark Discharge. Let me stagger you there. Quicker the contract. Very solid. Only person without Gloom is Ryoshu, so she's just going for the actual head instead. Need to clash for that anyways, so it works out. And we'll see how much rupture this is gonna be. Nice. That also inflicts a little bit of rupture count. So even without the spark discharge, we can go a little bit of time. Thank you, Samjo. You're iconic. I don't think this might do enough to kill on. It is rhyme shank. You're weak to this. It did do almost enough. You're 1 HP now. Oh, yeah, yeah, we actually did not. Okay. Well, and, you know, let's just finish this off in a pretty simple manner, but a very fitting manner. Right. We win both of these clashes, and we kill. Gloom really was the MVP in the end. We got a lot of Rupture stuff going, kind of seemingly out of nowhere. I guess not out of nowhere. I did comment earlier, we do have four Rupture people on this team, technically. We don't end folks on Poise Yu Gifts at all. I even passed up Nebulator, so Ryoshi wasn't really going to be great for Rupture, but she was there, right? But yeah. Once again, this is just another showcase of how much I love Gregory ADD. It's such a fun ego. Like, you can really get Rupture going in the strangest places with it. Yeah, there we go. That is a sex. Free script, um, successfully followed. Rodian did the least make sense. Dawn didn't do a lot, but that's because we also use Envy maybe once, maybe twice. One of the times I don't even know if we got a rip space off there, right? Our skill 2 was decent for Gloom though, right? That's something. Pass level 55. I haven't done too much grinding yet. That'll change in time, but... Right now... I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling the need to grind too much, right? Because Mirror... I don't want to save modules for Mirror Dungeon 4, so I can grind that when it comes out in like a month. That'll be, like, that'll be the real P. Right? Maybe yeah, yeah, daily extraction. See if we get anything. Doesn't seem like we're getting anything, but that's fine. And... Cool. But yeah, um... I love I, I I love Gregor ADD. It's one of my favorite egos. It's very fun to play around because 
I like Rupture a lot anyways. This is just like a like a second kind of way to play around Rupture. Kind of like how like if you're going for Bleed, you can go for more standard like Bleed, or you go for like Encorp, or you could go for like the Quad stuff, right? You could go for Rupture, or you could go for like Charge Rupture with like the Gloom and Shock Sand to beat stuff. And that's cool. Anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!